We are at North Central College in Naperville on Saturday afternoon. We are with Jay Leip, coach of the state champion Glenwood girls soccer team. They took a four to one win over uh, over Prairie Ridge today. Uh, coach, congratulations! Thank you. Uh, again, you you came very close to winning on the same field last year. Uh, finished runner, state runner up. Again, I don't know, has that been a motivation for these girls ever since then? What happened on this field a year oh, ago? Definitely. When you have 11 seniors returning and a lot of these underclassmen, that was their main focus. We, we felt confident we would have a good team this year, and the kids just worked hard throughout the offseason, through the whole season, to develop into that team. And to, to win this is outstanding. Yeah. Uh, you know, yesterday in the semis, you fell behind one nothing, came back to win. Today, uh, well, you just took charge early. I think you got a three nothing lead, maybe midway through the first half. Uh, wh wh when you get jumped to a big lead, I don't know. Is it? I don't. Know, is it hard for the girls to kind of keep up that intensity a little bit? I know they have to play smart. I think so. Sometimes it is. I think with our veterans and the experience we have, I think they did a good job of keeping that intensity up. Uh, Prairie Ridge, to their credit, kept fighting, and they got a goal there before half. So we needed we regrouped, and we kept them out the first 10, 15 minutes, and then we started feeling very confident that we were getting more and more counterattacking pressure. And for Kelly Graves to ice the game away, uh, it was just outstanding. Right. Uh, I think you have 11 seniors on this team, uh, so obviously it's great for them to be able to go out, you know, on top. Although you mentioned Kelly, who's I think she's only a sophomore. Right. Uh, uh, the cupboard's not going to be bare <laughs> next year, is it? No, no. I, you know, I, I tell people all the time. I'm very blessed. God's put me in this school district, uh, and as a soccer coach, we've got kids that coming in each year. We're going to have some solid players, and so yeah, we will miss our seniors and their leadership. But the kids coming back, I think experiences like this just makes them that much more hungry. And they want to uphold the tradition. So uh, we'll look forward to next season again. Yeah. Uh, I guess this is technically your second state championship. I think you won with the boys a few years ago. Is it? Is this? I don't know. Is it the same feeling, so to speak? Or uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's outstanding. I mean, you can't describe it right now. It hasn't necessarily really set in. It's kind of surreal right now. Uh, but the the best part of it is just to watch the kids and their reaction, and you know all the time they put in through their whole careers, and the the club soccer and the high school, and uh, to see them achieve this goal like this is just the best thing a coach can ask for. And last but not least, uh, just you and your family. This has been a huge week for you and your family. You right. mentioned you and your wife, Lisa, uh, welcomed your fourth child in, child into the world, Ezra, uh, this week. Uh, have you had much sleep this week, really? <laughs> no, I got a little bit, but not much. Uh, you know, and I, I have my wife, I can't thank her enough because uh, she's such a trooper and going through that uh, C-section and be able to you know, my my in-laws were able to come and help, and so I could come and coach. And I can't thank my family enough for everything. And now, it was just the week was outstanding once he was born, and I didn't expect it to get any better than that. And uh, to have this experience with the girls, just it's it's hard to put in words, really. Yeah, uh, I think to, uh, Sunday tomorrow afternoon, Sunday I think about one o'clock right. at the high school, the team's going to be honored. I don't know if you. <laughs> Think about what you're going to say yet. I'm sure you'll have a few words to say, right? Yeah, well, well something will come out. You know, I'm not the best public speaker, but I something, you know, we it, it just it's mainly going to be about the kids and just honoring them and just uh, presenting our trophy to the community. And so we're very fortunate to be able to do that tomorrow. Okay, Coach, listen, congratulations to you and your girls. A tremendous you. season wrapped up with a tremendous win, and uh, uh, good luck next season. All right, thanks.